Hello all geek enthusiasts, nerd aficionados, Mess5150 here. Early in the morning to say hi. Um, we're, <laughs> we're getting ready to go on a turnaround trip to Santa Barbara. And um, I, I have a friend of the family that is getting married this weekend. So we wanted to make sure that we were going to be there. So uh, yeah, we're going to go up there, check into a hotel. Spend some time in Santa Barbara, and then um, on the way, uh, probably stop off at some places and stuff like that. And I figured I'd get you guys some some video content of uh, the road to Santa Barbara and what some of the stuff is out there. Um, yeah, so I'm still waking up, and <laughs> we uh, we'll see how much my brain functions through majority of this video. Making a stop in LA because we gotta get some flapjacks. Walking in LA. Nobody walks in LA. Nobody on the road. Hey, look. For rent at St. Moritz if you wanna come live in LA. See, I don't see Arby's like these anymore where they actually have the big hat sign. I don't know if it's like the bird flu, but apparently there's a gonorrhea alert going on. <laughs> and also, this is CNN. Okay, see, I thought somebody was just being funny or, or like being serious in somewhat, but they have freaking billboards for the gonorrhea alert. It's, it's an epidemic, folks. All right, so like I said, we were stopping in, L, in LA, Hollywood, Sunset Boulevard. Um, to go get some breakfast. We're going to what's called the uh, the Griddle Cafe. This place is awesome. It's got some amazing flapjacks. Uh, they're known apparently uh, for the their world famous red velvet uh, pancakes, but um, we've been there before. Huge, huge portions. The only thing with this place is it's not very big, so one, it's already really good food, but two, it's really popular, so there's always a line. It doesn't matter when you go, there's a freaking line. So we drove past it, there was a line. So we're walking over to the line right now. Um, generally, you're looking at anywhere from an hour to two hour long wait, depending on when you get there, but we'll see how it goes. It's right next door to the Director's Guild, so that's kind of cool too, because who knows, maybe you'll see a famous director walking in and out of the building. <laughs> I highly doubt it. But, yeah. Director's Guild. Front doors. Roped off. If you're not a Director's Guild member, you can't walk in. And, like I said, always a line. Okay, so there's, um... A couple things I'm looking at. I want to get your guys' opinions, even though you can't tell me. But later, you can tell me what you would have gotten. Um, I'm looking at what's uh, the selfie on Sunset, which is a pancake with cinnamon sugar, chocolate chips, and cream cheese icing filled. So that sounds really, really freaking good. Or um, the not a secret anymore French toast, which is. Uh, Cinnamon streusel crusted French toast, so that sounds freaking good. And then there's a, um, uh, oh, where's it at? <laughs> um, Saturday morning fever uh, pancakes, which are Bailey's and Kahlua swirled into our buttermilk. So, um, I mean, this stuff sounds amazing. I think I'm gonna go with the selfie on Sunset, but I'm just curious, what would you guys do? Okay, so I, gotta, <laughs> I went with the one I said I was going to go with, and I got to show you guys this. So, this is, uh... <laughs> yeah. Um, this thing's huge, and uh, my wife was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it's going to be so good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get to eating. 
All right, I just gotta point out, you saw how big my uh, stack of pancakes were, and the receipt says selfie pancakes. Those definitely were not selfie pancakes. That was like a foursome pancakes plate, because I didn't even get through half of them. Okay, we've reached Santa Barbara. Um, but I think California's sick and doesn't realize that it's summer because it's a total of 65 degrees here and uh, cloudy. It's not cool. Not cool, Santa Barbara. Get your, get your acting gear. It's, uh, it's, it's summertime. It's supposed to be a little warmer. I, I brought shorts. So here's some of the art displays. So this is your library area, I'm assuming, where you can check out a book if you want to do some light reading, because you know, those, that's, books this big are always a little bit of light reading. Um, and they have a little book card. I guess if you, okay, so they have string going through these so that you can't steal them. I honeymooned in Gettysburg you know, because we're in Santa Barbara, and that makes sense. Um, so, these I don't even understand. Maybe somebody peed on this one, that's why it's yellow, I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, so this is one of the art things going on. And lastly, you have this, which gives a whole new representation to what's the color of the carpet. Okay, so we got the room open. Here it is, isn't it amazing? Look at the view. <laughs> no, this is actually a cozy little thing. Let me show you guys what's inside here. All right, here's the room. Look how cozy it is. Oh, look, they said, they said, welcome. I have taken special care to ensure your room is perfect and I hope everything is satisfactory. Have an excellent day, see ya. So, um, this is a nice little quaint little room. And then uh, here's your view outside through the dirty window, but it's still cool. And then lastly, let's see, this is the bathroom. It's got a nice size bathroom. Oh, this is cool. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, so this is the shower, which you got the shower head here. The but to get the shower to become a shower and not spill everywhere, the door opens up this way so that way you're not splashing the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> so then you step in here and get to take a shower. La 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 la. Yeah. So. And then it goes back and it just becomes a full on bathroom again. No shower inside. Making, making use of all the space that's inside. So quaint, cozy, comfortable, and in Santa Barbara in the summer when it feels like it's winter outside. Yeah. Okay guys, we're getting ready to head out to dinner, but I had to show you this shirt because I wanted, it's a rehearsal dinner for the wedding and I wanted to keep it classy, but I had to keep my geek cred going. So if you see the shirt, it has freaking emblems all over. It's all the Avengers logos, guys. Isn't that cool? So, um, Heading to dinner. Okay, so since I don't want to record while the actual proceeds are going on for the rehearsal, I want to show you guys kind of where we're at. We're at what's called the sandbar. Um, I'll show you real quick. Ambiance is kind of cool. It's a, it's a Mexican cantina place, but here, check check this out. Thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the next day here at Santa Barbara. We uh, stayed out a little bit, walked around State Street. There's a lot of shopping that you can do on downtown uh, Santa Barbara on State Street that's pretty nice. So uh, that's what we did, walked around. We're actually on our way over to CVS right now because we're gonna get some items for, uh, for tonight's uh, wedding festivities that we'll be at. But um, yeah, if we stay, we stay at the Indigo Hotel, like I said, but uh, if um, you happen to stay there, and you are disrupted by the sound of trains at a train station. Be aware that there's a train station right next door and it can wake you up in the middle of the night as the train goes by honking its horn. So, um, fantastic, it was, it, was a nice, it was a nice night. 
slept very well, uh, went to bed early, and uh, so early that I woke up at like four this morning going, I can't sleep. So, um, but that was just to be prepared for tonight because we're going to the wedding and then from the wedding, going straight back home, which is another three hour drive. And then I gotta work at nine in the morning because it's Memorial Day weekend and it's busy. So, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll get you guys a little bit more of what's going on. I am gonna try and uh, hit up some 7-Elevens on the way because I heard the Deadpool Funko Pop has been dropping at different ones. So, um, that may be in the foreseeable future of me seeing if I can find some of those you've already already got one video where I went out looking for them if uh, you guys want to check that out links are in the descriptions below all right so this is one of the coolest things about this place that we're coming here uh, the moxie children's museum <laughs> is is where we're having the wedding for the friends that we're going to so the moxie um, I gotta show you guys this place How cool is this place? This is where we're at. So we're gonna be playing like children at a wedding. How awesome is that? All right, so I'm walking down State Street, and I don't know, I just got this, this weird chill that like, something shady going on over here. Like there's some shady person just staring at me or something. Okay, this is a must. Anytime you come down to Santa Barbara, you have to go to McConnell's. McConnell's ice cream, they make it themselves. They have special flavors. They ship them to like Ralph's and Bonds and stuff like that. But they're super expensive there and it's so good that I'd rather get it here and not pay as high of a price over there. Um, give you an idea of some of the flavors that they have. Here's a board of some of the stuff. They got dairy free stuff and then you have kind of what their whole mission is to everything but there's your ice creams like I said they make it themselves so it's all really really good hand packed pints $11 versus like it's like $18 to get it at uh, the actual grocery stores so I'm gonna give you some ice cream okay so um, <laughs> I got ice cream and it comes with four scoops if you're not doing the smallest. The smallest comes with two scoops. That shows you how much stuff, how much good stuff you're getting. Um, and it's like six bucks. But I, I went kind of fruity with a lot of the stuff, except for the last one, which I couldn't figure out what I wanted to get. So I, I got Earl Grey and shortbread, which you would think that like a tea flavored ice cream would be kind of weird. It's really, really freaking good. So this is this is the best part of Santa Barbara to me all the time is McConnell's ice cream, and uh, it's a must. I, I would have McConnell's every single day if I could. When I'm here in Santa Barbara, of course not every day outside because I'd just be this huge blimp of a man. Okay, so we're rushing to do as much, make like this a mini vacation as much as we possibly can. Um, so let's see, we've hit up CVS, we. Gone out to dinner last night. We got into McConnell's. Um, we uh, we're going to the to the to the friend the friend's wedding later tonight. Um, stayed in a nice hotel. We had lunch with the uh, with family, and the only other thing that we didn't do is go to the beach. We don't have a lot of time because, like, in an hour we have to start getting ready for the wedding. So. Um, we're racing over to Stearns Wharf, which is the pier that is on top, um, and we're heading out to the beach. So, um, I like coming up here because a lot of times what they'll have is, is like little art things going on on the sand, like uh, here's, here's an interesting one. It's got different things to drop stuff into. It has like play beer pong, make a wish, all different types of stuff. Um, sometimes it'll be little, just like sand, sand uh, castles that they're making, and I don't know. It's it's cool stuff to check out. <sighs> My wife wanted to check out Channel Islands. Unfortunately, that's going to take up more, most of the day, so I won't be able to do that. But for a turnaround trip 
with not a lot of time left to do stuff and still try and go to a function for your friend's wedding, you can do a ton of stuff. Um, and it is Santa Barbara. The weather is beautiful today. I know yesterday I said it was freezing and that Santa Barbara must have forgot that it was almost summertime. But today it's like perfect weather. It's sunny outside. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. And uh, glad we're here. Glad we're getting to experience it and glad we have this little mini vacation. So I'm not gonna record during the wedding, but I gotta show how cool this place is to have a wedding in. Um, it's a freaking kids museum. It's a giant guitar back there. And, and uh, the, uh, the cocktail hour no, is no, out there. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't see, it's looking at me. That's my mom talking. So <laughs> there she is. Isn't he wonderful? Oh, I try, him. I try. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so this is the cocktail hour right here. This place is awesome. This is awesome. Give him some eyes. No, no, don't wait. Oh, no, no, stay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I get my face up there? Is it there? Hello? Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> Sorry, give him some eyes. Okay. Yes. Be quiet, I'm gonna go sneaking. This is gonna be uneventful for you. Your last step, like your Too last loud. step. Too loud! <laughs> And it'll have different songs on it. You can twist and find different ones. It's kind of nice little more active songs. And it makes songs. You see how I change the section? I change the song. Oh! <laughs> so you guys can find this one you like together. And then like maybe switch it up. So do you, okay, like listeners, who this wants is a dance floor, isn't it? You're the pretzel. Yeah, the pretzel. Okay, who wants to pick a song first? Sweet, sweet music. <laughs> yeah. So you have to put a jab inside. Which, which, which color does it have to be on? This is green. It has to be on green? I don't know. Nice. Oh, I like that. Please, right? Okay. Good. So, yeah. I have one more. Your face. So this is pretty cool. Try to sing this one. Breaking it all. 
all the way up. But after a while, if you've got too many things going on, it's just a total confusion, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this one also changes something for the entire board you want to So try twisting this. Okay, that's the volume. That's the volume. Okay. And so you can actually change what we're doing. That's cool. Wow, that's really complicated. Oh, no, it's not really complicated. <laughs> okay, let's see. So you guys can try a different song? Minimize. Do you guys want to try and do something with the filter? Oh. Um, this thing right here, filter the sound, so let's find one. Let's get this guy a little weird with the drum. It doesn't like to. Yeah. Okay, let's choose this. One of these? Yes, anyway. Okay. You can even turn it down, like how much it's being filtered. I'm gonna do the most terrible movie of all time, Planet of the Apes. You have to watch this clip first to see how to make the sound. We're in a Foley stage, by the way. This is a really cool, this is the best wedding possible in terms of letting the guests have some fun whilst the wedding party is taking care of stuff. Awesome, awesome place. Two, one. This is terrible. <laughs> this is why I am not. <laughs> this is why I'm not a Foley guy. Foley artist I am not, but damn, I make a good uh, monkey noise. Or somebody says I act like a monkey's ass. Hello, it's uh, me. If you've been watching this, uh, this vlog of Santa Barbara and the and this amazing wedding venue that we went to. Honestly, I believe that's probably the best wedding venue I've ever been to. That thing is awesome. Um, lots of fun for just everybody that, that's there and present. Sorry, my, my hair is going all nuts and crazy. I need to get a haircut. Uh, so while I'm here in Santa Barbara, I figured the one thing that I gotta do is I got to try and find this freaking Deadpool pop. If you saw my other video that I'm trying to find. So I'm gonna hit up a couple 7-Elevens, um, see if I can find any. Go ahead and check out the video uh, that I'll post up about the Deadpool hunt. Thank you guys for following me this weekend um, on this turnaround trip to Santa Barbara. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed uh, the Hotel Indigo. Fantastic hotel. The service is there is immense, is great. Um, that's the biggest thing is everybody, every single person that you talk to at Hotel Indigo is willing to help, willing to take care of people. So it is a great place to stay. They just did their, um, their renovation. So, and if you're looking for a wedding venue, heck, Moxie, uh, the the Children's Museum that place is awesome. So definitely worth checking out for a wedding venue um, If you guys like this video as always hit that subscribe button hit that like button drop a comment below I'd love to hear your thoughts on what ha what happened in the video what you think if uh, you're planning on vis visiting Santa Barbara what you're planning on doing um, But yeah, that's all I have Hopefully it's enough and we will see you guys soon and you guys keep nerding on